Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make this alternating leaves micro macrame bracelet. So this is what mine has turned out like. So I'm just using this green cord here, obviously because it's leaves. You can use whatever you want to to give different effects. We have these kind of leaves going from side to side, alternating like this, giving a really nice effect all the way around. And then I just finished it off with some ribbon ends here to give it a nice professional finish. And then also I've just used a lotter claw clasp, but you can obviously use whatever clasp you want to. So it looks like that. So if you want to learn how to make this, then keep watching. So these are the materials that we'll need. Now all we really need for this is cord and then a way to finish it off. So the cord that I'm using here is a 0.4mm Eslan and I just got this nice green colour, go nicely with the theme I think. And then I'm going to finish it off using ribbon ends here. And then also of course we use the ribbon ends, the little loops there, to then use whatever clasp you want to. I've got an extended chain, lost or claw clasp and then jump rings here. So let's get it all together and let's get started. So then the length of cord that we'll need is six lengths here of our Eslon of about three meters each. Now it's quite a bit, but we're not going to use all the cord. You're going to have lengths left on some of them because the lengths here are going to be used differently. So some lengths are going to be used more than others. So I'd rather have too much cord than too little. And then we'll also need a shorter length of the same cord of about 20 centimeters. So this doesn't have to be very long. This is just to be able to start off the bracelet with. What I've then done first of all here is taken the very short length of cord that I said we just needed to start off with and I've just attached it onto my project macrame board using my T-pins here to make it nice and easy to work with. And then we need to take one of our long cords at a time and we need to start attaching these to the short cord. So I'm then going to take my first cord here and then work towards one end and just leave a tail of about 10 centimeters or so that we're going to use at the end. Then I'm going to take this, put it underneath the holding cord that's attached onto my board here and then make sure to leave that little tail at the top. Then I'm going to take the long end, it's coming out underneath here, I'm going to take it back around the top of the holding cord, put it underneath again from the top like that and then make sure that this loop that we have at the bottom then, make sure to bring it up through that and then pull the whole cord all the way through. So this is basically, you can call it half hitch, but it's just looping around the cord for now. We need to do the same thing again. So I take the long end again, bring it over the top, down below the holding cord from the top there, and then again, make sure to bring it up through this loop on the bottom. So it creates a knot. And then when we tighten this, this is gonna then form the knot that's attaching this working cord to the holding cord and we have one cord coming out from each side of that knot. So this is how you want to then just go on and attach all of them. So now that I've attached all the cords here and they're right close together we have the long ends coming out below then what we need to do is start making the first leaf and to do that I'm just going to start from the right side it doesn't matter whether you start from the left or the right because we're swapping sides throughout anyway but I'm going to take my right one and I'm not going to take the furthest right cord I'm actually going to leave that out so I just put this out to the side to get it out of the way then I'm going to take the next one in so the second cord from the right I'm going to grab that bring it over towards the left over all the other cards here then I'm going to grab the very next one that's coming out underneath and that's going to be my first working cord so the second cord from the right that will brought over all the rest that is the holding cord in this row. So I'm going to start making double half hitches. That means I'm going to take this one that's coming underneath, that's the working cord, bring it around my finger, back around and through the loop of the holding cord here. And then as I hold it out you can see my working cord is looping around the holding cord like this, making sure it comes through the loop. Then as I'm tightening this, you want to make sure the row of knots that we're going to make is going to be nice and tight below the first row here where we attach them and the way to do that is hold the holding cord top don't pull it tight but just hold it top and then just push it a little bit upwards above that first row as we then tighten the knot like that and then go around again around your finger back around and through the loop to get another one to make it a double half hitch and then again push the holding cord upwards a little bit as you tighten it then we can put this cord out to the side because we're done with that for now. 
grab the very next one that's coming underneath the next working card here do the same thing around your finger and back through the loop and as I'm tightening this push the holding card up nicely so we get a nice and tight row here once more for a double half hitch like that again then when you use this put this card up to the side to get out of the way grab the very next one make your double half hitch here again around this holding card and then once you've used that put that out to the side get it away and then we have one left here that's coming underneath so just use that and make a double half hitch to finish off this row and tighten that so there we go that's the very first row you can see it's lying there right underneath the first one we did where we attached them so this card that I left out for the beginning just have that out to the side still so keep it left out then we need to move on to the next row here and what I'm gonna do is go back to the right side because that's what I'm gonna start every time in this little section the first card on this next row so not the one that we've already taken out but out of the cards that we used before the very first one I'm going to leave out same as I did the very first row that we made there then the next card from that the next one in is going to be the first holding card on this row I'm going to take that take it over towards the left over all the other cards and then I'm going to start using the rest of these as working cards one at a time just like on the previous row so the first one that we ran into there coming out underneath around my finger back around and through the loop and again push your holding card kind of upwards to get this row nice and tight underneath the previous one as well and make a double half hitch here and then just take that card away out to the side grab the very next one make a double half hitch again and tighten that and then you'll be able to see we kind of reached the end of the cards that we had coming down what we have left now is the card that was the holding card in the previous row all we're going to do with that is incorporate that by bringing it down underneath the current holding card and then just use it as one of the working cards so just bring it around your finger and back through the loop pull it all the way through and then again just tighten this right after the previous knots make it a double half hitch again so there we go that's now this row complete because we now have no more cards to use so to continue same as before we go back towards the right side here these are the cards that I just used to create this row again we only just focus on the ones that we've used so all the ones we've already taken out previously just leave them out so just like the other rows the very first card of them I'm going to again take away and then start using the very next one so the second one from the right bring that over towards the left over the others and then again start your double half hitch here and as you can see as well for every row that we're making we're gradually getting less and less cards to work with so also the rows are getting shorter and shorter like that and then again the holding card from the previous row bring that underneath and just use that as one of the working cards to finish off this row just like that with your double half hitch and as you can see we now don't have that many cards left but I'm gonna do one more row so go back to the right side leave out the very first card then we have basically just the one working card left and then the holding card from the previous row so all you want to do is do one double half hitch by taking the holding card in this row that we're going to make over towards the left bringing the holding card from the previous row that's now going to be the working card underneath that and then make one double half hitch and then this is going to be the very last row in this direction here just like that and it's going to be the very tip of the leaf so we now need to work our way back again because what we just made is basically the first half of the leaf so one half 
We now need to work our way back to then create the other half and connect the two sides together as well. So we're just going to bring in all the other cords that we've left out throughout to have them ready. And then the holding cord that we just used in the last row, all we're going to do with that is it's coming out towards the left. We need to bring it over towards the right now, so in the opposite direction. And again, over all the other cords there. So I'm then also then taking the last working cord that I used in that last little row, that's going to be the working cord again. All that's happening now is we're basically just swapping hands. So the holding cord is coming over the working cord, and then I take the working cord around my finger and back through the loop. And then this can be a little bit tricky, so you can either just do it like this, or you could, for instance, take a pin and put it right at the tip there, below that last row that you made, but above the knot that you're currently making and then tie your knot around the pin. That's one way to do it or you can just kind of hold a holding cord in that right direction and then tighten the knot and again this row, you make your double hair fit here, it's going to be right below the previous one but this is then going to actually be the same as the previous one as well. So the first row on this half that we're making now is going to be the same as the last row that we just made before and that's how we're going to basically keep thinking of it. Now, what I'm going to do is go back towards the left side. So the very first cord on the left side here is the one that we just used as the working cord. I'm now going to take this and bring it over towards the right because we need to start making the next row, which is equivalent to the second last one that we did on the other side. I'm going to bring this over and then use the holding cord for the little row that we just did as the first working cord. Bring that underneath and then make your double half hitch and hold the holding cord in the direction that you want the row to go and do the double half hitch here like this and then as you can see this row isn't quite long, as long as the one that's equivalent to on the other side so in order to get the same length so they look the same we need to then start incorporating these cords that we left out in the other half. So I'm going to do that by taking the very first one that we run into and still keep those to the side, bring that underneath the holding cord and then just use that as a working cord by making your double hair hitch. And then as we tighten this you'll also be able to see this is the first place we're going to connect the two sides together. So as I tighten this it's going to bring this row of knots right close to the one on the other side. Once more here for a double and tighten it nicely and then you can really start to see the very tip of the leaf there looking like that. So that's the equivalent to the row on the other side so as long as soon as you kind of made the row equivalent to the side and you've used this cord that's coming from the other side that we left out as the last one in that row then it, we know it's time to go back to the beginning again start a new row so go back to the left side the furthest left one bring that over the others towards the right and then start your next row so grab the very next cord that's coming over make your double half hitch again making sure this then lays right below the previous row like that and then we have the cord that was the holding cord in the previous row just bring that underneath the current holding cord and use it as a working cord in this row and tighten that right after the previous knot and again make it a double there we go you tighten that properly and then to make this row equivalent to the other side this is where we then need to take the cord coming from the other side to finish off this row and also connect the two sides so I'm going to take that bring it underneath the current holding cord and make my double half hitch like this make sure you bring them nice and close together close up any gap, tighten that, 
and then that's that row. Now go back to the beginning again. So furthest left chord gets brought over towards the right side and we start a new row here. Grab the very first chord that's coming underneath, make a double half hitch and you can now see as well that every row that we're making on this side is becoming gradually bigger or longer whereas the rows on the other side became gradually shorter. The very next working chord coming underneath and then we're working our way down to the bottom of the leaf here until we then complete it one full leaf. Building up the row, then we have the one that was the working chord from the previous row, the holding chord, sorry. Tighten that. Right below the previous one. And then to finish off this row, this is then where we need to bring in the chord from the other side. So just bring that underneath the holding chord and make your double half hitch to bring them together. And that completes this row. So there we go. Now as you can see what we have left is the chord that we left out at the very beginning that we haven't actually used at all apart from attaching it. So we have one row left to do to make it complete, fully complete this leaf. So, because we finished this row, I'm going to go back to the left side, bring the furthest left one over towards the right, start making my double half hitches, to create this row that's right underneath the previous one. And what you can also do now, is I like to do that as I go, now we have a little bit of work done, I like then taking another pin and kind of putting it in. It's going to hold my work more tight on the board and make it easier to work with. And I like putting it kind of through if there's any gaps instead of putting it through the knots. It just saves from damaging any cord. Grab the very next working cord. Building up this row. I'm working away towards the end. And the next one here making your double half hitch and we can pretty much now see how the leaf is going to look this is the very last row that we're doing grab the one that was the holding card in the previous row and make your double half hitch and then we know we're right at the end because we have one card left that's the one that's coming from the other side it's the only one yet that we haven't used just make a double half hitch with that and then that brings the very two sides together at the very bottom of the leaf there and finishes off this row nicely as well so this is what it looks like now so we have the very first leaf in place so now to start making the leaf on the other side here that's going to kind of be alternating from this one what I want to do first of all is just release some of my work here because I want to get it into a bit of a better working position I'm just going to take my pins out and then because as you can see it's kind of a bit of an angle here how we're working so the first straight line isn't going to kind of stay that way so I'm just going to all these short cords and the very end ones here just kind of put them out of the way and then instead now I'm going to start putting my pins through the work that I'm doing and then also kind of keep it fastened that way throughout. So find a place, position here where you're comfortable working with it. Something like this. And then we need to start making the next leaf. And to do that we actually need to continue making rows in the direction that I've just done on the second half of the first leaf there. But it's technically going to be the first half of the next leaf. So it's the same principle. What I'm going to do is go back to the left side, start from the beginning, but because we're starting a new leaf, I'm going to do it the same way as the other one. The very first card out of all of them, I'm going to leave out to the side. If you remember, that's what we did in the very first one as well. Then I'm going to take the second one in from the left. And that's the one that's going to be the first holding card. Bring that over towards the right. 
and then I'm going to start making my knots. So the very first one you run into is coming out underneath. I'm going to make my first double half hitch. Tighten this right underneath the previous row. And like that, make the double half hitch. I just want to actually put some pins up here to get these short cords out of the way so I don't get them mixed up. Like that, and then move on to the very next one. Next working cord, make your double half hitch. Building up this row. Working away towards the last cord there. So we're basically going to be doing the exact same thing like I said, it's just in the reverse. So we're now working towards the right side on the first half instead of towards the left which we did in the first leaf. So that's why I said it doesn't actually matter what side you start from because we're going to work from both sides alternating throughout anyway. Then here is then the last cord, that was the holding cord in the last row, previous row. I'm going to bring that underneath to use as my last working cord for this row. And then finish off this row here before we move on to the next one. There we go. Then go back to the beginning. Mine is the first one that we took away. Leave that out. The very furthest left one out of the ones that we've been using then. Again, put that out of the way, out to the side with the first one. Always leaving out that very first card. That's how we achieved the leaf to be able to then connect them as well, the two sides. Bring the next one here over all the others towards the right. Make your next row. Tighten them right underneath the previous row. And again, because this is the first half of the leaf, you can see for every row that we're making, it's becoming shorter and shorter. And therefore also quicker to make. Until we then start making the second half of the leaf, we're going to be increasing the size again. Because we're then bringing cords into it. Grab the very last one, that was the holding cord from the previous row, and finish off this row with that by making a double half hitch. Right, there we go. Go back to the beginning of the ones that we've just used. Leave out the first one. Grab the very next one. Bring it over towards the right. And then make your next row here. You can see we're getting towards the end because we don't have any cards left. Make your double half hitch. I'm just going to put in another pin here to keep it a little bit more tight. And the last one, the holding card from the previous row. And tighten this as well with your double half hitch. And then, if you remember, now we have these cords left, go back to the beginning, take out the very first one. We only have the two cords and that's the row we're going to make now. It's very short and it's going to be the very tip of the leaf. So I'm going to take the first one here and then just bring it over the other one that I'm going to then bring underneath and make my double half hitch. Creating the very tip of the leaf here. And there we go. So this is now the first half of this next leaf. So now we need to make our turn again and start working in the opposite direction to make the second half of the leaf and connect the two halves together. So this is then where, just going to get all my cords into position, all the cords that we've been leaving out, I'm going to gradually bring them into it again. The holding cord for the last row that we just made is still going to be the holding cord for the next row, so the very first one the second half. I'm going to bring it over all the other cords here in the opposite direction as to where it's kind of going naturally. And then I'm going to grab the very first cord coming underneath, which was the working cord from that very last little row that we did. And this is where the first row we're going to make here is the equivalent to the last one on the other half. So it's that little tiny row to complete the very tip of the leaf. I'm making a double half hitch here. There we go. And then we need to move on 
and then do the very next row which is equivalent to the second to last one on the other side. So I'm just going to take my furthest right cord which is then the working cord in the last row, bring that over the others, grab the very first one, first one here was the holding cord from the last row to start making the next row here which is then gradually larger than the one that we just made because we then to complete this row we need to bring in the next cord which is the first one out of the ones that we have left now so that we left out throughout before make a double half hitch to then also start bringing the two sides together and there we go then that row is complete so we're moving straight on to the next one go back to the right side the very furthest right card goes over the others grab the very next one start making your next row with double half hitch here tighten it right underneath the other ones and also now that I've got a little bit of work done here on this leaf I'm going to take another pin and just put it into the very tip here where I have a bit of space this helps holding this leaf tight and make it easier to work with grab the very next one this was the holding cord from the previous row tighten this like that and to finish off this row we need to bring in the next one it's coming from the other side to also connect the two sides make your double half hitch and there we go to start the next row again go back to the furthest right cord so we're just repeating the same thing every time we start a new row making your first double half hitch with the very first cord you run into with the working cords and again as you can see here for every row that we're making on the half, second half of the leaf is then gradually getting increased because again we're bringing a cord into it every time instead of taking one out the holding cord from the last row and then once we reach there we then take the next card that we run into from the opposite side to finish off this row here and again also bring the two sides together nicely like that with your double hair hitch again go back to the beginning on the right side and start a new row bring it over towards the left and make your first double half hitch and this is then going to be the last row on this half of the leaf because as you can see we only have one cord left that we left out from the other side and then that's how we know this is going to be the last row because then there won't be any more cords to bring into it working your way all the way towards the end just one cord at a time and then grabbing the one that was the holding cord from the last row like that and then the very last one that's coming from the other side to connect the two sides here and then basically complete this leaf on the right side so the second one that we made so far and there we go so now we have two leaves completed and you can kind of see this alternating effect it gives so just one side and then going to the other and then sticking straight out from side to side and that's basically how we're going to keep on working with it so now all you want to do is keep doing this working your way from side to side making one leaf at a time 
So that basically means the leaf that we're going to make now is the same one that we made as the very first one. And as you can see, we're just going to continue working in this direction for now. So that means, because we're starting a new leaf, I'm going to leave out the very first card here. So leave that out to the side because it's the very first one. And then it's the second one in from that that I then need to take over towards the left and use as the first holding cord and then start making my rows of knots here. Now because it's the first half of the next leaf this is where we're decreasing every time we make a knot. We take out the very first cord there every time we make a row of knots and then you reach the tip, work your way back where you then bring them back in and you basically keep alternating like this building it to however long you need this piece to be. So I then continued making my macrame here all the way down until I reached the length, obviously minus the clasp that I want it to be. So what we have to do now is finish off the ends. So as you can see this is kind of at an angle and both ends are pretty much the same thing. So what we need to do is just make it so it lies more straight so we can use my ribbon ends to then finish it off and give it a nice professional finish. So we're going to do that on both ends and just show you how it's done. So then to achieve that more straight line across to be able to finish it off properly, we're going to make a few more rows of knots here, but just not quite in the same way. So, like I said, we also need to do the exact same thing here on both ends of it. So I'm going to go back to the very first cord in this case. So this is kind of the one that's on the inside of the leaf. And then we need to make a few rows in this direction. So I'm going to go to that first one. In this case, it's on my left side and then bring it over towards the right over all the others and that's the first holding cord for this next row and then we need to take one at a time again the very first one you run into make double half hitches and then make another row here right underneath the previous one grab the very next one building up the row so it's almost like we're kind of continuing the leaf right now but what we're going to do, instead of continuing making this row all the way till the end, we're going to stop a bit before that to be able to achieve that more straight edge. Because it doesn't have to be perfect anyway, because it's going to be hidden inside the ribbon end. So just to get more of the effect of it. So something a bit like this. So you can see now I have, in this case, two working cords left that I could use, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to stop this row a bit before the very end and then just that's what we're going to achieve having that more straight edge it's going to go across like this so then we also then need to just do a few more grab the very first card again bring that over towards the right side in this case over the others grab the very next card which is then the first working card for this row and then make a double half hitch and then really what it is, it's a matter of having a look at yours and judging it as you go. So here I can make another knot or I can choose to stop here. In my case I think it looks more straight if I stop here. So in this row, the very last one, I've only done one knot. So we now have more of a straight line. When we then get rid of the cords as well, you'll be able to see it more clearly. So I can now take it off the board here because I'm done making all the macrame work and like I said obviously do this at both ends and then what I want to do is get rid of all the excess cords so you can either use glue if you want to also depends what kind of cord you're using this is a synthetic cord so I can singe the ends but if it's more of a natural cord or if you just prefer it you can always use glue as well so you just put some glue right where the last rows of knots are right at the end there let it dry for a bit and then cut off the excess what I'm going to do is actually singe off the ends, so I'm going to get a pair of scissors and then kind of with this straight line across, I'm just going to go in and cut off the excess, leave about a millimetre or two from each length of cord where it's coming out from, so just like that. And then the very ends here, I'm going to take a lighter and obviously be careful because it's a naked flame so it does get hot. Take a lighter and then you just want to singe down the very ends here. And then you can either just, I like to just press it in, I use my finger, or you can also use the lighter itself. So just if you find that it's going to be a bit too hot. Completely depends what you prefer. 
But then this finishes it off nicely so it gives it a nice straight edge and also while securing the cords in place so these knots here aren't going to come undone. So there we go. You can now see we have a nice and neat finish right at the end. And this is now ready to be finished off with the ribbon end. So do this on both ends and then we can use the ribbon ends to completely finish it off. I'm then going to take my ribbon ends here to finish off the ends with. And then what I'm also going to do is use a bit of glue just for the extra security. And I'm just using the E6000 here. So what I'm going to do before applying the ribbon end, I'm going to take a bit of glue and just put some on a toothpick here. It doesn't need to be too much, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put the glue inside of the ribbon end. I just like to do this just to give it a bit more security. It's going to make it more durable long term as well. So just some glue up and down the sides inside the ribbon end here. And then the leftover I'm just going to put right at the end of the bracelet. And just a bit on both sides because then they're really going to adhere to each other. So like that. Then I'm going to just put this on top and then we obviously want to make sure it sits how we want it to sit. So nicely in the middle. So just have a look. Place it where you want it to sit. So it looks nice. And then I like to hold my piece in my hand and then take my fingers and hold the ribbon end in place. Because we then need to clamp this down. So I'm going to take some flat nose pliers. And then I'm gently going to start from one side and press a bit at a time. Move my way back and forth until it gets to the point where it's almost clamped all the way down. I'm just going to take my fingers off, double check it sits where I want it to sit because it can move a little bit as you're clamping it. If you're still happy with it or reposition it if you're not, then when you are, go in and just do your last clamps. Put a bit more power into it, a bit more effort here. So it really gets tight on the end and I also just always like to go in from the side and close up the sides nicely. So there we go. So that's how I'm going to finish it off. And then obviously here you have the loop that you're going to attach your findings to using your job ring. So whatever class you want to use. So do that on both ends. Attach your findings and then you'll have your finished bracelet. So once you've then finished off the ends here with your ribbon ends and attach whatever findings that you want to, then you'll have the finished bracelet. And it'll look a little something like this. So you get this really nice effect of the kind of alternating leaves going from side to side all the way around. So there you go. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful as well. And thank you very much for watching. Hello there everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make this micro macrame bracelet that's made up with all these connected hearts with beads in them. And this is what it looks like. So you have all your hearts here going from one end to the other. And then I just added a clasp, an extender chain, and then it's going to sit like this on your wrist. So it's going to be nice and comfortable because it's nice and flat there. Really comfortable to wear and it looks like this. It'll be perfect for Valentine's if you want to use it for that. But obviously you can 